All right, guys, so we're out here on the range. You can see the target out there. First up is the GSG 1911 chambered in 22. I'm going to zoom you guys in on the target. So you can see what's going on down there. You can see that hit on there. Didn't really do a whole lot of damage. We're gonna shot shoot him one more time. Make sure it chambered another round, it did. Second shot. See if we can see where that hit. Yeah, that hit pretty much dead center. That was a better shot than the last one. Alright. Gonna head on and move on to the next gun. Alright, so our next firearm is the uh, Beretta uh, 92 FS 9mm, shooting the same rounds I did in a uh, video where I reviewed it, so not sure if I'll hit it or not, but I didn't test fire it like an idiot. I test fired the 22 though. I'm slightly ahead of myself, but let's see if we hit it. I think we hit it. I saw it uh, move a little bit there. I'm not sure if we did or not. All right, guys. So next up is the Beretta FS9. Took a shot last time, and it, I couldn't really tell if it hit it or not. Let's take another shot. I missed. There you go. There's a contact. See here. Yeah, you can see where that one hit. Yeah, it's a pretty good hit on that target. So, I'm gonna have to move up to the 45 ACP. All right, so next up on the list is this 45 ACP. Firing some full metal jacket rounds. The three test shots that I did actually hit their mark. So, see if this one won't hit it as well. one hit. I don't know why, but every time I shoot this thing, I feel like paint chips flying up and hitting me in the face. So I've actually got a little rust on the iron sights, but uh, that's all hit. We're going to shoot it one more time. Let's see if we can. Got three shots left. Should hit it at least one out. So that last one hit. Uh, we got one more round left. Uh, see where that hit? Yeah, we can see it. I might as well just pop off that last round. Now nah, we'll save it. Save the rounds, why not? Alright, so we're up here at the target. I want to check it before I went with the uh, 357 Magnum. I didn't bring any 38 special rounds out here. Uh, so there's the 45 round. Not much to speak about there. I mean,. No deformation. So what's going on, on the back side of this thing? Don't really have much. I have a little bit right there. Assuming something. Yeah, that right there is probably where the nine hit it. So first time around, you don't see anything on the back here. I did leave the stickers and everything on just to see what would happen to them. Uh, you see the 22 shot right there. Did make a little bit of a nubbing. We kind of nubbed there, so did the 9, but that looks like a uh, little paper there in the middle, huh? But a little bit bigger on that one, so maybe we'll see a bigger difference with the, uh, see a bigger difference with the 357 Magnum. Alright guys, so next up, 357 Magnum firing some uh, round nose. I can get one of these out of here. These are not full metal jacket. You see there, just some round nose. Pull the spent casing out. Fired one shot to make sure I'd be on target. And I was. So, uh, I gotta zoom you guys in, don't I? There you go. Here's some Magnum. Got one hit on target. 
see where we hit. Uh, that hit up at the corner, didn't it? Try to get another one more center to the plate. That one missed. That one hit. See that one get more center? Yeah. Doubled up on that nine. It still didn't seem like it did a little, it didn't really do any damage. So, I guess next up we'll be shooting the 22 rifle. Don't think it'll do anything, but just for the sake of knowing what the rifle does. Alright, got the 22 rifle here. Going to be doing. Alright, so redoing this, you can see all those little dots at the top. That's where I was shooting it with the 22. Oh, I didn't have anything to lean up against, uh, and I don't this time either, but I didn't zoom in, so you guys didn't see the, you know, rounds hitting the target, and that's the part that I like watching is the rounds actually impacting the target, so we're going to shoot again. This time we're going to go over to the side where that other bolt would be, we're going to try and hit next to that. A further over than I wanted, but we'll get another shot. Sure, you can all over the place. Missed that one. Yep, nothing. There you go, guys. There's the 22 rounds hitting the target. And we'll bump it up something more because we know that didn't do anything. We can see it on there. No major holes, no major divots. Just a lot of little pecks on there that aren't really going to do anything. So we'll bump it up to the AR-15 and go from there. Alright, so now we're going to do the uh, AR-15 and I'm going to zoom you guys in on the target. So... I don't have any magnification on this, so I'm not sure where I'm hitting. I'm just going to try and put three rounds on target. Then we're going to put three rounds of green tip on target. That should be interesting. And I dropped a uh, threw some magnum round out of my pocket. Hoodies are not the best thing to store ammo in. You can get three rounds on target. Those do a little bit more damage than uh, the 22s, wouldn't you say? So. Alright, so now obviously for the sake of science, we're going to be using some green tip rounds. You can see those right there. I didn't know how clear this gun was until I, sh or this camera was until I shot the last video. So you can actually see that pretty well. I can't through the little LCD screen, but that's fine. It's whatever. Zoom you guys in. These should make a nice little puff of smoke when they hit the target. Well, at least they might. I don't know. Do I have around chambered? Nope. Alright, put it in there. I don't know if these will hit or not. It's not zeroed in with these, but we'll see. It hit. It definitely hit. Knocked all that uh, shit off of it. Uh, is that another? What did it happen with my phone? I got a text message. All right, so those uh, AR rounds, the first three right here, those three really didn't do much. A little bit of a divot in there, but not much at all. I imagine you probably pepped this thing quite a bit. Then those uh, green tips, living up to their name, you can see a little bit more of a cut in that one, that one, and that one right there. You can see there's a little bit of a cut in it. See how easy you can see that compared to those right there. Where these look like they have a little bit, but there's really nothing there. You'll see those 22 rounds didn't do anything. Coming around back though, I'm not seeing any bowing. Yeah, this thing is definitely not going to bow on that one. Now, just for thickness comparison, this is the one at uh, Walmart. 
this is the other one they have at Walmart. A lot thicker, or a lot thinner. And this is the one that I prefer to shoot at. See this thing's taking a couple hits there. It's been spray, spray painted back over. That's what I was talking about, about hitting the steel post. But this is the reason the old steel plate didn't work for me. Uh, those are, like this bottom one right here, that's from the, uh, what do you call it? The big gun. Most of them gone. This is the first steel plate, by the way. I still have it. I haven't taken it down. You see all these divots from like 308 rounds really dented it up. Then hitting it with that uh, green tip did those holes over there. And one of them is from that uh, Mosin the Gaunt. We're going to hit this baby with 308. And then we'll move it up to the Mauser and see what's going on. And uh, we'll be back. Alright guys, up on the dock it is the Remington 770 chamber in 308. Let's zoom you guys in. If I remember correctly, this is zeroed. We'll see here in a second. I checked it before hitting record, but oh well. Let's see if we can't get one on target. Jeez. I think that hit. I heard it. But I might not have hit the right target. I don't know. This thing kicks up like a motherfucker. Oh yeah, we hit it. I saw something fly off the back there that might have been the uh, paper on the back. Flying off, hit it one more time. Oh, yeah. That is jarring that fucking thing. Alright, so let's put this baby back in the case and we'll uh, go down there and check that out. Alright, so you see where the 308s hit aren't like that's where the uh, green tip hit is right there and right there I think that is from the 308 that is maybe from the 308 and then something in here is surprisingly you can't really tell and those are some hornady black you can see all this smoke around it though I'm just wiping that off with my finger all that on there I'm sure that's uh Part condensation though, around the back, you see that paper did get knocked off. I'm not seeing a lot of bowing at all. Uh, that's pretty good for it. Um, see if we can't tighten this nut up a little more. I did do it hand tight when I started, just because I forgot to bring tools out here. All right, so now we have the. 1895 Mauser, over a 120 year old gun. <sighs> Beautiful. Let's zoom in on the target. It, I did a practice shot with it. It hit a lot harder than I remember. Hitting the, uh, not the old target, but the kind of the newer old Walmart target. So we'll hit it once and then switch over to the new uh, rounds that I have for it these right here shouldn't be copper core but I think the other ones have a uh, smaller copper jacket oh yeah yeah that was awesome yeah. grab another one of those other rounds I don't even know if these will uh, work with it hundred percent I fired them out of it. I'll put two more in there. There we go. Hopefully the gun doesn't blow up on me. That one kind of missed, didn't it? Looked like it did. There you go, and that one was a hit. Let's buy one of the old ones for comparison. I'm gonna knock that target off. Huh? Definitely not ready to fire, shoot these rounds at it. Definitely not ready for this. One more 
because I had it in my pocket. Shouldn't because these are super expensive, but there you go. If we're going to see any bowing out of that target, it's going to be after shooting it with that thing. But then again, we also have the slugs and whatnot from the uh, other gun, so yeah, that one packed a wall. We'll go check that out. All right, guys, so as far as I can tell, not too much damage on this thing, actually. Expected a lot more. Uh, something that you may not have realized was I shot at it one time and it missed. But it actually went right over this corner and hit right there. So that's where that round hit. Kind of took a chunk out of it right there. See, it's not too, uh, that metal's not too thin, so yeah, I really took a chunk out of it. And I shot the target right here. Couldn't tell you where I actually hit it at. Did I just hit that hole again? Uh, no, I think I hit right there. But it was kicking up some dust. Definitely kicked up some dust from that target, so. We're going to move up to our largest caliber, the one that made the big hole in this one. Right there. It might have made that other hole too, I don't know. I think it just made that one. That one's from the AR. I didn't even still, uh, don't think I was even using green tip on that one. It just poked a hole in it, so. It's not rated for rifles. Alright, so last gun on the docket, or at least the last rifle, is this baby. This is my grandfather's old hunting rifle, the Mauser, not Mauser, Mosin Gaunt, made in 1942. Yeah, 1942. So, zoom you guys in. Get a practice shot. It is on target. There you go. See if we can't poke a hole in this thing. Oh yeah. I don't see a hole. Woo. All four rounds, nothing happened down range it looks like. No holes. We'll go check that out and then we'll move on to the shotgun. Yeah, looking at your view. No, no holes. All right. She's looking good. She's looking real good. Can't even tell exactly. Maybe there, there, and there are the hits. Y'all will know better than I will. Using iron sights on everything but the 308 and the oh one itty bitty paint chip right there. You have an idea how small that is. Wow, it's like a little pin prick. Almost. See the bottom of the plate there? I believe it's coming in. Maybe it's smacking that? You're getting close? No, it's not smacking it. Surprised these little things here have stayed on. I really expected those to come off there, but no, they're pretty good. I thought they were just for keeping the plates separated and shipping. Oh, yeah. Slipped on a stick. But, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Uh, as far as bowing, no bowing on the plate. Target up top here, this bit right here. This thing's working pretty well. Can't remember who makes it. Uh, should probably do a review on these, because I have one over there, and it's worked out pretty good. These little plate stands, you can find them on Amazon. But, yeah, those are pretty good. Now we're just going to switch over the shotgun and do some stupid shit. Alright, time for some stupid shit. So this is the shotgun. Loaded up with some slugs. Not sure if I'll hit it or not. Didn't want to waste any rounds on a practice shot because I know it's not going to be consistent enough to actually matter. Just going to zoom you guys in. There you go. Hopefully I don't break my target stand. That's the thing I'm worried about here. The target? Fuck it. Buy another one at Walmart. That's why I like testing these things because I don't have to order the shit. I can just go to Walmart. Fuck it. Alright, safety off. And is that a dud first time out? First round. Take this bitch out of here. So you got a light primer strike. Not sure that's the shell or the shotgun. We'll find out. Damn, that kick hurt. Not, not too, yep. Yeah. Now it's starting to hurt. It's starting to sting a little. Yep, yeah, I didn't have the shotgun. Oh, my shot right. Look. We good? Last round, no round. 
Throw that first one back in there. Hip fire. Nothing. Damn it. That sucks ass. Got a bad shell. Oh well. Like it. All right. So you guys saw those hit. I didn't get to see them hit. I'm gonna throw some double up buck in here. So we got Alan Becker and a Wolf double up dude. Wolf double up buck. In here. I feel like I should stand behind a tree. This is, uh, holy fuck. You're not going to believe what I found back behind this tree. Evidence. Got to do dumb shit. Uh, I need to be able to pick this up. Uh. So a little bit of pause in the video for something pretty cool. Zoom out here. So there's a tree right behind this camera. It's off to the left of it, I guess. Right behind it and to the left. This little thing. Ah, shit. It's hard to see with the glove on. You see it like that. So that right there. If it'll focus. I don't know if it's focusing or not. That right there is a sliver of what I believe is that, uh, um, fucking Mauser Nagant that I keep wanting to call a Mauser. That's like right behind the tree. I don't see any other slivers around, but that's how dumb I am. And that's why I wanted to stand behind the tree. So we're going to zoom you guys back in. Because with all that evidence, I just want to shoot it again and be do more stupid shit that I shouldn't do that I know I shouldn't do. So here we go. Here we go. Do double up back on it. Uh, I don't know, did it do anything? I don't know. Time for some 12 gauge Remington Magnum Express double up buck. Says this shit's for hunting black bear, so damn yeah, it's gonna hurt. I've shot this shit before. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let it be noted, don't shoot raccoons with these rounds. I've done it before, it's not a good idea. Next up, last round out of the shotgun. It's gonna be some of that buckshot one up slug combo shit. Shoulder. Ah, oh, fuck it. And up there. And there you go. There's the double up buck with the one out slug. Oh shit. Oh, was not ready for that. But there you go. We're gonna head on back down to the target and see what happened. And there we are. That's where one of the slugs hit. Um. I don't know where any of the other slugs sit. There's a weird circle right there. That's a weird circle. I don't know what that's from. Uh, what's this down here? Is that a slug? Ha <laughs> ha! That is a slug. <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. Look at that. Shit right there. Look at a little perfect cone. There at the hell. Oh, one out slug. Nice. Keeping that. Going in the hoodie. I'm eventually going to have a thing where all my finds on the range go. But for now, let me get, I don't see anything else on the ground. Um, as far as the back of the target again, a little nothing. We're tearing this shit out of those uh, threads on that bolt. Sure, well, you can see that, but yeah, those threads are kind of fucked. You can see the shavings that dropped right there. I'll tighten it back up a little bit. Whew. Oh yeah, you can see a little gap there. It's a square and a square. So the square got pushed through the square because there's lead like digging in there. It's pretty cool. 
the thing that I like about doing this kind of stuff. Seeing the aftermath. Tiny bits of chip. That paint job is really fucking good. I'm not gonna lie. A little bit of chip right up there. What happened back here? Like, where's the... Not much. You can't tell with the leaves, but there's some damage over there. Busted that tree up. And that's probably where a slug managed to lodge itself. Uh, hit that tree a little bit. Then back behind there, nothing. Nothing noticeable. Yeah. Tearing it up, man. Tearing it up. I guess the last thing to do is to whip out the AR-15 and just mag dump 30 rounds into it. And call it a day. That's pretty much the end of the video guys as far as anything technical. I do have 30 more rounds of ammo with me. I actually have 60 but I'm not going to spend all my ram ammo up down here because it's my only 60 rounds I have left of regular 4 mil jacket. Everything else is... But now I have some hollow point two two three, so I could actually dump it all. But in the interest of time because this is just a little fun bit after the video. As far as the video is concerned guys, decent target. If you want to stay till the end see what 30 rounds are going to do that thing hitting it one after the other then you can do so if not the video is kind of over here uh personal thoughts good target i will be buying more because it was a decent price if i remember correctly um even when matched with things i found online on amazon it has a great paint on it so that back part of it doesn't chip off too bad let's just get into shooting this thing because you guys watch the video, you know how good this target is, and you know it's going to be worth the buy when you go to Walmart. I don't know how much your Walmart's selling it for, but again, mine was 30 or 40 something dollars. I think it was in the $30 range, like 36, halfway in between there, something like that. But I'm going to zoom you guys in one last time. We're going to do 30 rounds on target with the AR 15. These are not the rounds that I normally use for this gun, by the way. They did not have Wolf Gold at the store. Sorry for shaking the camera around so much I didn't know it was going to be so far off. Eh, that's good enough. 30 rounds. Uh, should I stand where I was standing before? Fuck it, why not? Oh, I opened up the lens covers and turn the... Come on now. There we go. Alright. I missed one of those. I'm gonna throw in my other magazine and bonus. One, two, three, four, five rounds. Bonus five rounds. Fuck it, why not? I'll be damned, did I actually hit all those? Fuck up. Huh? Okay. I'm good with that. That seemed good to me. It seemed good to y'all. Hope it seemed good to y'all. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.